Qatar is a small Arab country nestled on the northeastern coast of the Arabian Peninsula. Known as the world's wealthiest country per person, Qatar is also recognized as one of the safest places on Earth. Just a short flight of less than an hour from Dubai, it's a destination that attracts many with its unique charm and opportunities. One of the most compelling reasons people are drawn to Qatar is its tax benefits. Imagine living in a country with 0% personal income tax. For businesses, Qatar offers a corporate tax rate of just 10%, while in the United States, it's 21%. And when it comes to capital gains tax, Qatar's 10% is half of what you'd find in the United States. In this video, we'll explore the immense wealth of Qatar and uncover some of the most luxurious yet affordable living options, including the Pearl and West Bay. We'll dive into the details of apartment rental costs and show you why Qatar could be your dream destination. So, if you've ever dreamed of living in a place where opportunity and wealth go hand in hand, get ready, because Qatar is about to blow your mind. Historically, Qatar was home to various tribes in the Arabian Peninsula who led traditional desert lives, residing in tents and herding livestock across the vast desert landscape. In the late 19th and early 20th centuries, Qatar became a British protectorate. During this period, before the discovery of oil, the economy revolved around maritime trade, with pearls, fish, dates, and textiles as key exports. Pearl diving was particularly lucrative and left a lasting cultural mark, evident in the design elements around Doha, such as lamp posts adorned with pearl motifs and the aptly named man-made island, the Pearl. The game-changer for Qatar came in the year 1935 when the Anglo-Persian Oil Company, now known as British Petroleum, obtained a concession to explore for oil. This led to the discovery of substantial oil and natural gas reserves catapulting the economy and resulting in a high gross domestic product per capita. A visit to the National Museum of Qatar reveals the incredible transformation from a desert economy to a modern powerhouse in less than a century. Qatar holds the third largest proven natural gas reserves globally and is the leading exporter of liquefied natural gas. The wealth from these resources has funded extensive modernization from cutting-edge infrastructure to advanced education and healthcare systems. Despite its wealth from hydrocarbons, Qatar is actively diversifying its economy to reduce dependency on oil and gas. Investments have been made in manufacturing, construction, and services, including financial services and tourism. The construction boom, significantly driven by preparations for the year 2022 FIFA World Cup, is a testament to these efforts. Qatar's remarkable journey from a traditional desert society to one of the wealthiest and safest countries per capita is not just about economic transformation but also about creating a high-quality life for its residents, making it an attractive destination for expats worldwide. Curious about the specific investments Qatar is making to diversify its economy beyond oil and gas? Stay tuned as we explore these ambitious initiatives. Understanding Qatar's economic history is crucial as it directly impacts the job market in the country. With oil and gas constituting more than 60% of Qatar's gross domestic product, it's no surprise that many job opportunities are tied to this industry. A recent search on Gulf Talent revealed numerous engineering vacancies and related roles. Additionally, there are significant opportunities in finance, especially in accounting. The hospitality and tourism industry is thriving creating high demand for hotel management professionals, front desk agents, lifeguards and customer service clerks in luxury hotels and resorts. The healthcare sector also seeks specialized professionals and administrative roles, such as contact center managers. The education sector is constantly looking for qualified teachers for international schools and universities. Meanwhile, the information technology sector is expanding, with positions for software developers, data analysts, and cybersecurity experts supporting the country's digital transformation initiatives. English is widely used in professional settings, and tax-free salaries further enhance the attractiveness of working in Qatar. However, obtaining a visa in Qatar outside of company sponsorship is challenging. For a work visa, the process typically starts with the employer arranging the visa, requiring a valid passport a passport-sized photo, an employment contract and educational certificates.
for a family residence visa. Expatriates can bring immediate family members by first obtaining an entry permit, followed by medical examinations and fingerprinting upon arrival. Required documents include a valid passport, a marriage certificate, birth certificates for children, proof of relationship, and a bank statement showing sufficient income, typically a minimum salary of 15,000 Qatari rials, which is around $4,100. Property owners can secure residency by purchasing property in designated zones with a minimum value requirement of 730,000 Qatari rials, approximately $200,000. Permit holders must comply with local laws and inform the Ministry of Interior of any changes in their personal information or employment status. Qatar offers a wealth of opportunities for expats, making it one of the most appealing destinations for those seeking a prosperous and secure living environment. What do you think about the family residence visa requirements in Qatar? Do you find the process straightforward or challenging, especially considering the financial and documentation requirements? Share your thoughts below. When deciding where to live as an expat, lifestyle plays a crucial role. In Qatar, the Pearl stands out as an exceptional choice. This artificial island, spanning approximately 4 million square meters off the coast of Doha, offers stunning waterfront living and picturesque views. Imagine enjoying a spacious apartment in Viva Barria, with breathtaking views and fantastic amenities, all for just 8,000 Qatari reals which is around $1,700 per month, with bills included. Two-bedroom apartments on the Pearl start from about 9,000 Qatari reals per month, roughly $2,400, for semi-furnished options. Fully furnished units range from 11,000 to 16,000 Qatari reals per month, about $3,000 to $4,400. Another luxurious living option is West Gulf Apartments, which offer similar pricing structures. Although specific details for West Gulf apartments are limited, they are known for their luxury. West Bay, located along the coastline of Doha and overlooking the Arabian Gulf, is famous for its striking skyscraper skyline. This primary business district of Doha is home to corporate offices, Qatar's financial center, and upscale residential options. One standout accommodation here is the Bentley Luxury Apartment and Suite. This unique property offers both hotel and long-term rental options, with some floors dedicated to long-term renters. These fully furnished, serviced apartments cost around 8,000 Qatari reals per month, about $1,700, the same price as the first apartment we explored. Before we continue, I have a 10-second request for all of you. If you can help us out, please hit that subscribe button. It would mean a lot to us. In return, we promise to keep making this show even better for you. Deal? When exploring nightlife in Doha, Qatar, it's important to remember that the entire country has a relatively small population of around 3 million people. Despite this, Doha offers a unique and vibrant nightlife scene, primarily centered around its luxurious hotels due to local alcohol regulations. For an elegant evening, Head to Z Lounge by Zengo on the 61st floor of the Kempinski Residences. Here, you'll enjoy stunning city views, a chic atmosphere, pan-Asian cuisine, and expertly crafted beverages. Dance enthusiasts can visit Oxygen Club, renowned for its European-style disco, live DJs, and vibrant laser lights that create an electrifying ambience. If you prefer a more relaxed vibe, Monkey Tail is a beachfront club featuring tiki-style cocktail lounges and themed events like beach parties and URBN Saturdays, ensuring fun both day and night. For a refined experience, the club at St. Rages offers upscale nightlife with fine dining, cocktails, and live performances from singers, DJs, A's, and comedians. Infinity Rooftop Lounge at the Alwadi Hotel Doha boasts panoramic city and ocean views, a variety of global drinks, and themed nights such as Ladies' Night and Caribbean Night. Prices in these venues reflect their luxurious settings, with cocktails typically costing between $15 and $20, and entry fees ranging from $20 to $40. When planning a night out, remember to dress modestly and adhere to local customs for a safe and enjoyable experience. What makes Qatar's transportation system especially convenient and affordable for expats? 
Learn more about the options available. Transportation in Qatar is modern, efficient, and continuously developing, offering various options for residents and visitors. Public transportation includes an extensive bus network operated by Mawasalat, also known as Karwa. Fares start at 3 Qatari Reals, which is about 82 cents. The Doha Metro, a state-of-the-art rapid transit system, charges 2 Qatari Reals per single journey, equivalent to 55 cents. Day passes are available for 6 Qatari Reals, or approximately $1.65. Both buses and the metro provide special accommodations for women, such as reserved seats and women-only carriages during peak hours, ensuring a safe and comfortable travel experience. Taxis, also operated by Mawasalat, start at 10 Qatari Reals, which is about $2.75, with an additional charge of 1.6 Qatari Reals per kilometer, translating to about 44 cents. Ride-hailing services like Uber and Kareem offer a convenient alternative, with base fares around 8 Qatari Reals, or $2.20, plus additional charges per kilometer. Car rentals are available from various international and local companies, with daily rates starting at 70 Qatari Reals, around $19.22, and monthly rentals ranging from 1,800 Qatari Reals to 2,500 Qatari Reals, or about $494 to $687. Overall, transportation costs in Qatar are relatively affordable, and the country's focus on safety and convenience makes it easy to navigate, particularly for women and expatriates. One of the key cultural differences to note is the clothing conservatism in Qatar. Women in Qatar, including Muslim women who wear the hijab and headscarf, dress very modestly. This contrasts sharply with Dubai, where fashion is more vibrant and colorful. In Dubai, you'll often see women wearing bright pink abayas, green abayas, stylish heels, and designer handbags. However, in Qatar, many local and Muslim women prefer wearing traditional black attire often fully covering their bodies with no eye slit visible. Even tourists tend to dress conservatively, likely purchasing modest clothing upon arrival to fit in. Qatar is renowned as one of the richest countries globally, but its wealth is displayed differently than in Dubai. In Dubai, a short 30-minute drive will reveal an array of colorful luxury cars, pink Rolls Royce, silver sports cars, orange Maseratis, and gold-plated vehicles. The car scene is vibrant and flashy. Conversely, in Qatar, most cars are black, white, or gray, even in upscale areas like the Bentley Apartments. The overall atmosphere is more understated and modest, even in high-end residential and hotel areas. Not only does Qatar offer a high standard of living, but it also provides a unique and enriching cultural experience. In Qatar, the work week runs from Sunday to Thursday, with Friday being a religious day, much like a weekend, and Saturday serving as a day of rest, similar to Sunday in many other parts of the world. Interestingly, Dubai used to follow a similar schedule, but has since shifted to a Monday to Friday work week to align more closely with global practices. There are many advantages of being an expat in Qatar, such that your employer covers all healthcare needs, provides housing, and takes care of commuting costs. Unlike in the United States, where you pay for housing, medical expenses, and taxes, in Qatar, you don't pay for these, significantly reducing your cost of living. Moreover, English is widely spoken in Qatar, making daily communication easy for expats. While Arabic is the national language, English serves as the primary means of communication. The street's cleanliness and safety are maintained by regular cleaning and a low crime rate. However, expats should be aware that property ownership is limited to areas like the Pearl, a man-made island, with properties costing around 2 million Qatari rials, or approximately $550,000. Despite these restrictions, Qatar stands out as an excellent destination for expats, offering unparalleled benefits and a high quality of life. Qatar is not like Dubai, but that's part of its charm. While Dubai is unique and flashy, Qatar offers a more authentic glimpse into Middle Eastern life, which is equally fascinating. Lodging at the Ritz-Carlton in Doha, the views from the room were simply breathtaking. 
The hotel is so well equipped that there's no need to leave the premises to have an unforgettable time. There are at least three fantastic restaurants right on site. Selmiel offers delightful Parisian cuisine, STK provides a premium steakhouse experience, and the B Lounge Bar is perfect for unwinding. Plus, the Ritz-Carlton boasts both indoor and outdoor pools, as well as a luxurious spa. It's an ideal place to relax and enjoy a stay. What specific safety measures contribute to Qatar's ranking as one of the safest countries globally? We'll explore the factors behind this impressive achievement. According to the latest in the year 2024 Numbeo Safety Index, Qatar is ranked as the second safest country globally, right behind the United Arab Emirates. This impressive ranking is attributed to the country's extremely low crime rates. Qatar's crime index is a mere 16, while its safety index stands at an astounding 84. So, what makes Qatar so safe? First, the country experiences very low levels of violent crime, including physical attacks and armed robbery. Property crimes, such as vandalism and theft, are also rare. Safety during both day and night is incredibly high, with daytime safety scoring 86.44 and nighttime safety at 81.25. Qatar's commitment to safety is part of its broader national vision, focusing on developing effective institutions and infrastructure to ensure a stable and secure society. This dedication is evident in the experiences of expatriates and tourists, who frequently report feeling safe walking alone at any time of day and leaving their properties unattended without worry. If you found today's video interesting, don't hesitate to hit the like button and subscribe to the Discover Globe channel. Your support is very important to us. Be sure to check out the next video appearing on your screen. You're sure to love the content we bring? Please leave a comment about which country you'd like us to explore next. Thank you for watching, and see you in the latest video. Thanks for being with us on this great journey. Leave your thoughts in the comments and like to help us. Remember to subscribe for more. See you soon.